Hey guys, welcome to game two of set four of Fighting Spirit Mania between Rancor and Masuchi, upper left and Gwenwei of Masuchi, starting as the green Zerg, bottom right and Gwenwei of Rancor, starting as the red Zerg. Again, the map is Fighting Spirit. Game one went to Masuchi. Very hard fought, and it looks like Rancor having some trouble finding footing. It seems like he's kind of pulled back to just going nine pool over and over and over again. That might be his default, and a lot of variations on it, that might be his default style, whereas Masuchi, opening up with what seems to be his default with a 12 pool, is finding a lot of build order advantages and legroom from there. As a side note, I want to say thank you for all the feedback for people that are wondering, hey, uh, or that I kind of removed that video, like remaining mysterious, mysterious, can't even say that right, had a rough night's sleep last night. Uh, but anyway, uh, there was a feedback video as far as Fighting Spirit Mania posts, and I think the general conclusion, which I agree with, is it is up to people to ignore content as it comes or not. Uh, but otherwise, still not abandoning you guys, hanging out here, doing this. And it looks like Rancor this time opening up with an Overlord first build. Is he going to go for the 12 hatch? Game one, we saw a 12 hatch, and we really have not seen him go 12 hatch since. It looks like he is at least adjusting build order. And it looks like he's waiting on the current drone count overall. Yeah, it looks like he's going to go for a 12 hatch. Upper left hand corner, we do have the overpool, or sorry, the 12 pool. And that should give, theoretically, an advantage to Rancor, at least economically. Never mind, we're seeing a in base 12 hatch from Rancor. So rather than the natural expansion 12 hatch, uh, this. Oftentimes, what this will do is, is this will provide more larva to Rancor. However, the economic advantage oftentimes will still go to the player uh, going for the 12 pool just because they can pump a few more drones uh, here and there. We'll see how it ends up working. I think that's the way it works. We'll see how it works out overall. Zerglings end up a little bit earlier from Masuchi, but also he's able to take that natural expansion with a little bit less trouble. So it's less ground area to cover for Rancor. We've seen him when he's opted for the in-base hatch builds. More often than not, he has tried to push to Hive I'm wondering if he's going to go for an in-base Sunken Colony once again, try to play the ground advantage, and move from there. Masuchi has gas up. He's got that spawning pool spawning, and he's got six Zerglings that are shortly going to be on the way. He's probably not going to get much out of an attack. The gas is up for Rancor, but having a little bit of delay getting the drones in. Keep in mind, this is a slog for these guys. Rancor, I take it back as far as the drone counts. This is, again, one of those off-build orders I don't see very often, uh, so I guess I'm still picking up my ZVZ here. But it looks like, after everything, Rancor is, in fact, up a few drones. And Rancor going to follow this up. Let's see if he pulls off and he's just going to go all in. No, he's going to go lair first, so no Zergling speed first. Going to go lair first, and he's producing eight Zerglings otherwise. Lair first on the opposite side of the map for Masuchi. So the Larva advantage is going to be there for Rancor, but he's not going to have the expansion advantage. And I'm not sure that this lair, yeah, the lair is going to be about equally timed. So unless Rancor can get out and get some disruption at the natural expansion, even though he's been up a drone uh, this period of time, I'm still going to give Masuchi a slight advantage overall. We'll see how it plays off. Overlord spots this, I think there's initial Zergling attack. Rancor blocking the ramp, wanting to deny information, getting another surround, and actually starting to move out a little bit. I like that Masuchi only sent a single drone with the scouting information, and Overlord making its end around. This Overlord making its end around as well, so there are going to be targets for Mutos on either side, and this might come down to a match of Mutalus Micro. Some additional Zerglings being fielded. Looks like we do have a almost a full control group of Zerglings on the opposite side of the field, but now Masuchi dropping a Creep Colony over uh, already. Is he going to go for a Sunken Colony to try to provide a little bit of defense and maybe get aggressive? So dropping that drone. He's now down two drones. He's got that Spire Morphing. Spire Morphing the opposite side. Rancor still up two drones. More Zerglings have been produced. These Zerglings starting to move out a little bit. They have been spotted by this nearside drone, that, or this nearside uh, Zergling. That Zergling's taking a lot of damage. And the Sunken Colony is, in fact, morphing. So you've got this Overlord able to spot all of these Zerglings. That's going to leave it potentially nearby vulnerable. This Overlord is moving across to go ahead and check the Zergling count at the natural expansion. And now Rancor moving out to go ahead and grab his natural expansion. He is up two drones. With the timing of this, I actually wonder if he's going to end up behind in the overall Mutalus count. Because the Spire, about halfway finished here. So the Spire timing looks like it's just about even. 
I'm going to try to keep an eye on the resource count, but it looks like Rancor actually might end up, after having kind of that advantage of drones this entire time, might just end up basically ahead down the line. Because Masucci's played very defensively here. He's not moved any drones to this natural expansion and critically has not grabbed this gas. This natural expansion means nothing unless that gas has been secured. So, and Rancor is floating a good amount of resources with his one drone advantage as the Spire finishes, and it looks like he is going to get the initial three Mutalisks out, whereas Masucci, on the opposite side of the map, has supply capped himself and is just flooding Zerglings across the map to go for potentially counterattack. Rancor sees this. Now, the timing of it is do these Zerglings punch through and get some damage done before the Mutalisks get there? Rancor did not have these Zerglings fanned out, so it looks like it is going to be a fairly open and even fight. So Masucci has a superior amount of Zerglings out on the ground. Three Mutalisks are here. But now the question is, is how much damage does Masucci get done in the midst of this? Drones drilling. One is down. It is even drone count overall. But keep in mind, a superior Mutalisk count. The Hatchery is taking a lot of damage and actually might fall. So a huge 300 resource deficit. So any time, any, uh, and actually Masucci might end up winning this just off of that. The Zerglings still flooding in to the main, looking for drone kills, able to get one right there, and Masucci continuing to show ZVZ prowess, forcing Rancor down to nine drones. Rancor's not out of it. He still has a superior Mutalisk fleet, but he's not going to be able to apply pressure to that natural expansion, and the question is, is how long is this going to last? Looking to take out that Overlord, it looks like he's got six Mutalisks in the air, compared to the five Mutalisks across the field, but he's still down three drones, and he lost this natural expansion. And that's going to allow Masucci, with his natural expansion up, to go ahead and grab that gas sooner rather than later. So even though he's got that count lead, he's got to do something magical to try to push back into this. It looks like he's spawning some Scourge. He might just want to go for it. It looks like he is moving forward a field, wanting to potentially get in an engagement with the Mutalisks. So do an initial engage, then have the Scourge come later when they're committed. So the Scourge, yeah, coming on delay. Engaging now. Poking away at this Overlord. Masucci trying to micro against this. The Overlord is taken out. And now forcing the engagement here. Some Scourge do manage to land. Five Mutalisks versus six Mutalisks. Some Scourge spawn the opposite side. Keep in mind, Masucci has a near spawn location. And more Mutalisks flooding in. And that is going to be GG. Rancor frustrated. Yeah, calling it. Still still being optimistic and calling GG there. Well played by Rancor overall. But Masucci takes game two. And Masucci just seems to be a... Sl so these have been good matches, but it just feels like Masucci is a sliver ahead in his EVZ. And I'm wondering if he's going to be able to just go for a sweep and clear it out from here. We will see. But he has taken match two in set four. He is up... What is this? Three sets to one, I believe, at this stage? Or two sets? Two sets to one. Seeing if he can take a third. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.